Technology has been particularly important in our evolution in how we are doing our studies as well as how we are collecting the data to really assess the effect of our treatments and our, our studies. We conduct clinical research in infectious diseases with a specific emphasis in HIV and tuberculosis, and we study maternal child health diseases in pregnant women. And we're really trying to understand how to better treat and prevent HIV and TB in the Indian scenario. So for example, one in four people in the world living with TB is an Indian. I'm Amita Gupta, and I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine and Infectious Diseases and International Health at Johns Hopkins University. Software and technology have really changed things in terms of how we, both from the point of view as research staff, but also our participants, engage with one another in terms of collecting the information. And now what we are doing is we're actually having the data collector directly on a tablet connecting to that data. And I can instantaneously, 10,000 miles away, access and see that data in real time. We developed a dashboard for our each patient. And it, for example, says, okay, this patient um, is coming on their second week visit, and a, a red dot means that their cholesterol hasn't been checked, or they haven't had their physical exam, or they haven't had counseling around smoking cessation. Then red becomes green, and that kind of allows both the interviewer and the patient to sort of see what's been completed, what's not complete, and helps guide the doctor or patient nurse interaction in a more efficient way. We use technology and data in a way that's really transformative. The experience of our patients when they come in and see us really using the technology, they find this actually quite helpful and the experience is quite empowering, particularly when we use it to show them their own data. Having real-time monitoring and review of the quality of the data, the completeness of the data. We can take a look at basic demographics with pie charts, uh, histograms. Those visual pictures are incredibly informative. I used to have to you know, go through five steps to try to get to that information and now with a click of a button, I can see that in real time. One of the things we realized is that we really need a uniform portal that will allow us to have all of our studies on one interface. With Persistent Systems, we are using a Salesforce platform, and we've developed a wonderful research portal for our Indo-US research activities. And if we want to look at across 10 studies, what is the proportion of women who've been enrolled? And instead of having to go to 10 different binders, I can just literally log on and see all 10 studies on the first page that I look at. And I can see within a snapshot what's happening. What we hope to do and what we're actually working on is to determine very quickly better diagnostics for TB. We're also trying to look at a way to predict if one person has TB and they've exposed five household members, what's the risk that any one of their family members would develop TB? And that can be done through really well characterizing both the biology within the person, but also with their other clinical and socio-demographic characteristics. We need to really understand how to prevent the disease, treat the disease, to improve chances of success and a good life survival. Mm -hmm.